Hello again. you watching today on ENCHS TV Channel 43. Now, government says it's ready to enforce law and order during this festive season. The Justice, Crime Prevention and Security Cluster has given an update on this earlier. The military will also be deployed to major routes. My colleague, that's uh, ENC reporter and fellow anchor Heidi Jokos, uh, following this uh, story for us and is joining us now in the studio this afternoon. Heidi, good afternoon to you and thank you very much for being here. Now, the country has been a little bit nervous recently, given that judgment by the Gauteng North uh, High Court in Pretoria regarding former President Jacob Kelechegi Sazuma. Now, we understand the military is going to be deployed this uh, festive season? Yes, certainly, uh, Bradan. We also understand that the military has already been deployed and this is at the back of um, certain key routes and uh, highways that were blocked off uh, because of uh, the issues around the trucks and uh, the Minister of Defense saying that it was important to provide the necessary support to the South African Police Service um, and just to make sure that these key routes and what the Minister calls these key strategic economic routes uh, to be open and that there is no unrest there. So we do understand that the military has already been deployed to these key routes but also the military is going to be on standby. We do know that there is some fears and the country is a little nervous uh, given what happened in July with the unrest and the looting. Could this possibly happen this time around given what is going on with uh, former President Jacob Zuma. Uh, the military is saying they are on standby, they are having a conversation with um, the South African Police Service and uh, they want to make sure that lessons have been learned from the July unrest to make sure that all um, boots are on the ground. But of course uh, for now they aren't predicting any kind of unrest, they're just saying that they are ready but it's crucial for us to understand that the military has been deployed. So if you see the army at certain toll gates and at key routes uh, it's because they have been deployed to make sure that there is no disruptions, especially with the trucks that we've seen in the recent weeks. Let's listen to Minister of Defence, Tandi Modise. You may recall that uh, just before the local government elections, we stood right here and we said that we have an interest as the military to look after strategic infrastructure. We have been in discussion since with the Minister of Police and Defence has agreed to take over just the toll roads and the toll gates specifically. And that decision was taken because we cannot afford a situation as a country where trucks block very strategic economic routes which not only affect South Africa, but affect the whole of Sadak. I, I hear too, uh, Heidi, that uh, the judiciary has sort of been in the news recently and all kinds of calls, especially on the back uh, of uh, the decision by the Gauteng High Court regarding Jacob Gelechegis Azuma's medical parole. And some people are, calling that they, uh, are saying that there should not be any judiciary. Yes, yeah, certainly. And I think uh, the big concern here is, uh, Bradan, is that many are saying that the former president uh, is being mistreated and unfairly treated by the judiciary. But uh, during this um, security cluster briefing that was held today at 9 o'clock, uh, the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services was also present just to highlight the issue that there are concerns about unrest given what happened in July. But uh, the minister is saying that there should be no attacks on the judiciary and perhaps we should just wait for the law to take its course and that everybody needs to understand that everybody's equal before the law and even though there is a status of former president in this case uh, if there is a specific judgment and now it's on appeal it's important for the processes to unfold. The minister also highlighting the fact that South Africans should remain calm and this does not give anybody reason to create any kind of unrest or this should not prompt any kind of looting especially because of the devastation we saw in July. Let's listen to Minister Ronald Damola. It is important that we allow the due processes of the law to take its course. The parties themselves um, are engaging on the matter in the court processes. So inflammatory statements and unwarranted attack on the judiciary will not help the process. So let's give the process space and time and refrain from uh, uh, those inflammatory statements and maintain calm as a country.
in this moment, we need to be as calm as possible and allow all the necessary process of due process of the law to unfold as in terms of our architecture of a constitutional democracy. Okay, that's Ronald Lamula, the, the Justice Minister. Now, finally, Heidi, before I let you go, the National Coronavirus Command Council deciding to keep South Africa on adjusted alert level one. I'm sure many people will be relieved ahead of the festive season. Are all hands on deck? Yes, according to Minister of Police, Peggy Taylor, it seems as though all hands are on deck and that uh, all boots will be on the ground. Uh, it's very difficult to ascertain how many uh, police officers will actually be deployed this festive season as there is an operational risk to announce such information. But we have been told it's all hands on deck. And also, given the fact that the country will remain in adjusted uh, alert level one, um, I think many people are quite excited that uh, this Christmas we won't be in any kind of hard lockdown or uh, an adjusted level upwards. It remains on level one. But the Department of Health, of course, together with the NCCC, uh, encouraging South Africans to uh, make sure that they also uh, act responsibly. And we do know that Omicron is highly transmissible. But uh, on the back of what the NCCC has been uh, notified to is that mortality is a lot uh, lower than what we saw during the second and the third wave, and hospitalizations also remain quite low. But the the next two to three weeks are going to remain crucial for the NCCC and for South Africa to uh, see whether or not we should be moving into a higher level. Uh, but for now, it seems that uh, South Africans are off the hook for now. Uh, but of course, we have to be responsible. And uh, the message also is to encourage those who have not been vaccinated to do so because it seems as though uh, it's one of the most important tools in fighting this pandemic. So uh, in terms of security, the minister saying, all is in order and they, everything should be going according to plan. But also um, in terms of the health aspect and the Department of Health and the NCCC saying we should all act responsibly this festive season. Thank you very much, Heidi Jokers there, with that uh, quick update on what uh, was said during the security ministerial cluster briefing.